Uh, it went well. I mean, it's fun. It's a lot of energy, a lot of uh, you know enthusiasm playing with some guys that you haven't played with before, and you know playing in a place that you haven't played with before, and in front of some people that you know uh, have been uh, you know renowned in this basketball profession. Take us to the past few days, what you've been doing, other things you've worked out for, and then also upcoming what you have planned. Uh, well, I was in Utah working out yesterday, so I just flew from here to from there to here. Uh, worked out today, and then you know I'll go home uh, for the weekend and do some more workouts next week. So it's kind of the same thing each and every week. You do two, three, um, up right up until you know the draft takes place. How many are you doing? Yeah. Off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you. Roughly 12, 13, around there. What made you decide to go like? Go the basketball route versus baseball. I uh, you know it's just something about the sport. I think you know, uh, obviously, I love both sports. I've been playing them my whole life, but you know, it's something about you know basketball with the you know uh, energy, athleticism, the things that you need, and you know, just the sport itself. And uh, I think you know when I look at it, you know, basketball is something that. Uh, I, w I would have to do first if I wanted to, you know, pursue it. And I do want to pursue it. I would be off, you know, playing baseball right now if I didn't. So, uh, you know, it's just a matter of going through the process and enjoying the time. So it wasn't a hard decision for you to make? To turn not for me. Team? Not for me. I think, um, you know, uh, no, it's not a knock against baseball. You know, someday I'd love to play it uh, at the professional level. But, you know, right now, uh, you know, my heart's set on basketball and to see how far I can take this before I, you know, make a decision. For the two years that you spend in the minors? kind of uh, One year. One year. Yeah, it was from last year. But, uh, Did that tell you that that's not what you wanted to do? Uh, no, it didn't tell me that at all. I think it was just, you know, um, basketball itself. I think I enjoyed my time in the minors. And, you know, what was really cool about it was you were able to see how guys handle themselves in a professional uh, manner when you're down there. And it kind of, you know, shed some light on me to, you know, how, bring it back to the Notre Dame uh, teammates that I had at school, even though it was a different sport. And, you know, really see how a pro goes about it in his daily life and how much time management and, you know, things you need to do uh, in order to succeed at the next level. Was there ever any thought of like just sticking to one sport, or like what was the value? Do you feel like uh, no, that? there was never a thought. Uh, you know, for me, I think um, it, it's because I love both sports. I want to do them, but also, you know, it, it's kind of cool to, you know, uh, be a, a a role model for the kids that are pushed towards, uh, you know, really. Uh, playing one sport at such a young age. I mean, uh, it's a shame that, uh, you know, kids are, you know, pressured into choosing at such a young age when you have athletes that like playing both. I just wanted to, you know, show them that it's possible to do both and it's possible to do both at the highest level. After the 44-inch vertical leap at the Combine, how much attention did you get for that? Do you think the perception has changed of you as a player? Uh, maybe a little bit. You know, for me, it's been something that the, the people close to me, the, people, the teammates I've had, have kind of always known. I could perform and on an athletic level at that level and um, it was just a matter of kind of showing it you know at Notre Dame we were an extremely efficient offense one of the most in America so uh, we had a lot of guys do what we did best it wasn't a matter of having to show other things and the position I played you know didn't necessarily call for you know the highlight reel dunks it was more banging down low with the big guys and showing that I had toughness so uh, it was something I was willing to sacrifice and uh, you know, I was lucky enough to get a chance to show that I had that type of athleticism on that level. And I, I don't think it was just, you know, the vertical jump. I thought it was the other tests that, you know, matched up just as equally as well. And, you know, the games that we played at the Combine, playing well in those, all of it kind of together, you know, helped me and helped me in this process. What position do you see yourself as? Uh, for me, I'll play any position the coach asked me to. But, uh, you know, I think at the next level with the size or, quote, unquote, lack thereof size uh, in this league, uh, it's more of a two uh, shooting guard type that, that, you know, has a little bit of a better rebounding ability than some and, you know, can work on some things on the other side. What's the process been like that with like that with just the transition of having more ball handling? Uh, you know, it's funny because kind of like I alluded to earlier, it's not something that I haven't been able to do or couldn't do. It's something that I just didn't have to do on our team to make us the most efficient. So obviously it's something I have to work on, but, you know, it's something that I've been able to do and I had a little bit of a head start because I did it, um, you know, throughout my whole life. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just it's fun coming out and kind of, you know, making people think, oh, well, he can play the two a little bit better than we thought. It was just he played the four because it made his team the best team possible. Do you see yourself as maybe morphing into a stretch four at some point? In the NBA? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. To be honest, I mean, I will if they want me to, but uh, stretch four, that's, that's I mean, that's that's like 6'10". Like, yeah, if I grow a little bit, if I pull an Anthony Davis and get like five inches in one year, I'll, I'll see you as a stretch four, and I'll probably see you on the mound at the same time. <laughs>